Howdy doody, everybody. My name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Root Double Before Crime After Days Extended Edition. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. So, after lunch break, an extracurricular lesson was scheduled for the afternoon classes. Ooh, what lesson? The students were to board a bus for a field trip to an outside facility. <gasps> Ooh. The Labo? Because the the title of the chapter was Labo something something atomic something. Natsuhiko and the others left the school with Ina. And as they waited at the bus stop in front of the school gate, Mashiro talked to Sayu again. Aww. Was it good? Did you like the chili hot dog? Oh. They were apparently talking about the food they ate just a while ago. Normal, huh? That's how long is she going to keep up the lone wolf act? What do you mean? About Mashiro continuing to talk to you? Oh. What do you mean? What? What? Uh, what school did you go to that all the food was served to you? Mm? Natsuhiko couldn't help but interject at her odd statement. Really? Interesting. Natsuhiko was taken a little by surprise, but Mashiro on the other hand spoke calmly. Are there schools like that? I don't know. They are? That's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, she is a prodigy. Now you pondered Mashiro's offer for a little bit, and then. Uh, what? The, uh, the bush? She pointed outside the school gate and inquired. Uh, the, the hypotenuse triangle. The the I mean the right triangle. Right angle triangle? I forget what triangle that is. Oh. I, I thought he was looking at that triangle thing. Ugh. Now his finger was aimed at a camera overlooking the street in plain sight. Oh, You've never seen one? Uh, and if people come towards the school? <laughs> Yeah。そういえば、昨日街の中でもあれを見かけた。どこにでもあるの。Suspicious people. Wait. So why couldn't the security cameras uh, find those uh, terrorists, right? Or unless it's they're part of them. <gasps> oh. Mashir explained pridefully. The security cameras established high level of public order within the city. Hmm. Oh, it's a top secret city. No, I'm pretty sure it's, it's everywhere. I mean, isn't Area 51 technically a top secret city? Natsuhiko. 
Social study. I don't. I don't like social studies. That was the, my least favorite subject. Because I had everything: geography, uh, history. Ah, I. I was so bad at that. It seemed like Mashiro wanted to make Natsuhiko and Sayu talk. Natsuhiko sighed and started explaining. <sighs> この市は政府による科学特区指定がなされていて治安第一の条例が敷かれているんだよ。いや、メックスセンス。そのために色々と特殊な制度や該当設備があるんだ。監視カメラはその一環さ。うん。他にどういう特異点が？えっとまず転居
long. But Nazi Ego looked slightly ashamed about it. Oh, why? Oh, there she is. Wow, she looks really young. Nazi Ego's mother, Dr. Miyoko Tenkawa, was a researcher at Labo. Nazi Ego didn't quite know everything about her credentials, but he knew that she was an apparently world leading physicist. However, Nazi Ego wasn't very fond of his cool headed researcher of a mother. Is it because she's never home? That's sad. True, I guess the research results mom's team produces do provide the city with huge profits. And both the town's prosperity and our livelihoods benefit from it, but still. True enough, Natsuhigo's mother had quite a high salary. But despite that fact, Natsuhigo really did not like the facility of Labo itself that much. And it wasn't just because he didn't get along with his mother, because she was never home and she's a workaholic. The real reason had to do with Natsuhigo's personal past. Personal past? Whoa, why did it just become red? What happened? If only I didn't go to Labo that day. Oh, you gotta let it go, Natsuhiko. Can't let it consume you. Bitter regret spread through his heart. What happened that day? Oh no. Never. Right? The moment he said that the bus came rolling in. Wow, how convenient. It's like that time that I remember when I was in elementary school. And this was when I was using the bus. So apparently the bus was late for some reason, like really late. And we we're all waiting for the bus to come. And apparently like, you know, people were like going in and saying, hmm, or someone said, as I recall, is that, oh, maybe I should go inside and call my, my parents to come pick me up because, you know, the bus isn't here. But, and he was like, well, he or she, I forgot, I was like, well, well, if I go inside, what if, what if the bus comes when I go inside? And then I'm like, well, why don't you just go inside then? Because if you go inside, the bus will come. <laughs> oh, you know, that sort of logic. And then, and then this. The student was like, oh, well, I guess I'll go call. So the student started walking towards the um, the door to go to the office. And then, what do you know? The bus came. <laughs> that was so funny to me. Everyone to the back. Yeah, to the back. I get, I get my own seat by myself so I can lie down. Why? Why is she giving us that look now? That you looked like she wanted to say something. But eventually she just nodded at Mashiro's words and boarded the bus. Hmm. Oh, Parapsychology Research Center. 1400, 1130. Ooh. Awesome. The Rokume City Parapsychology Research Center, or the PRC for short. Um, hmm. As Rokume City's largest BC research facility, it had achieved many research breakthroughs in the past. Where's the security? No security? Natsuhiko and the rest of the class followed Dina, who seemed oddly excited for the field trip. Ooh. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at that guy over there. He's got a huge long nose. This is an awesome place. Who's that girl in the green hair? Once the class was inside, a staff member in charge of guiding visitors began to explain various things relating to the facility and BC in general. Uh, this is where my mother is. Huh. 
Hoshiro and the other students listened on curiously, but Natsuhiko was completely inattentive. For a cutting edge research facility, they've got a pretty ordinary looking office. And laptops. He was merely pondering dumb thoughts like that. In contrast to Natsuhiko, the most curious of them all was... Yeah, because her lips were not moving. That's why. Or because she just has huge boobs and... I, I'm not sure. And I guess Natsuhiko likes her. Their leader, Ina. ビシリュシ関連の研究なんかもここで行っているんですかそういった研究は別の研究室で行っておりますああ、man。classified ノーナイで発生するエネルギー量の測定、分析などはええ、そういったことももちろんやっておりますよ。例えば、レベル4のコミュニケーターの方の場合、最大10マイクロスカラーバリュー程度のエネルギー量が。I and eventually, the field trip came to a close. That was fun. I guess... As they left the facility, Ina spoke to the lined up students. Oh. students left at Mashiro's jab. Oh. Really? Oh. Oh. You relieve stuff at the school? Wait, but isn't it a long walk from here? I mean, right? It's, it's like... It's a long pathway here. And with that piece of advice, the field trip was over. The students dispersed in every which way. Since Natsuhiko and the others were not part of any clubs and thus had no business on campus after school, they decided to head straight home. <laughs> Onwards! <laughs> Natsuhiko half-heartedly replied, Aw oh, man, I'm kind of tired. Really? I mean, it is a long day. The sharp-sighted Ina caught sight of Natsuhiko's yawn and called out to him. Yeah, I'm tired. I thought she left. Ina smiled dryly when Natsuhiko twitched. Uh. すみません。うん。天下君は超心理学があまり好きじゃないのかしら。担当教師としては悲しいんだけど。いや、it's spoke what was on his mind. On which Mashiro cut in beside him. Yeah, apparently. Ina smiled somewhat sadly as she spoke. Ooh, if you can. 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 Ooh, if I see. Really? You're not a communicator? Natsuhiko struggled to find a reply. 
Just as Ina said, she was a parapsychology teacher, but couldn't use BC in the slightest. But for someone of Ina's generation, that was only natural. The great worldwide communicator boom only began about 16 years ago after all. That's a long time. The vast majority of these born before that couldn't use BC. Even the teachers at Rokume Academy were no exception. However, Natsuhiko was somewhat fond of having a female teacher this close to his own age. Wait, what? It's his... Close? How close? And so, in a rare display of goodwill, Natsuhiko gave reluctant words of encouragement. He does like her. Yeah, what gave you it? Because it's new, it's different, it's scary. Ina's face suddenly turned serious at that point in the conversation. Oh. There's always change. Ina a lot of things. We'll find out what these possibilities are in the next episode of Rude Double Before Crime After Days Extended Edition. I'm actually very curious as to what happened here in Labo on that, I guess, fateful day that he shouldn't have come here. Very curious. So, oh wait, it was a time with... Right? The, uh, with... With Sao Yu, or not Sao Yu, with Yuri's trauma? Was that it? Huh. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Root Double Before Crime After This Extended Edition, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Bye! So, uh, we're at the- wait, we're at the beach with Ray. Hold on a second, why don't we be at the swimming pool?